All right, what's up, DVW fam? So as you guys can see, we're back in Las Vegas on Spring Mountain Road, Chinatown, and we got Phil back here. What's up? Taiwanese Chinese food expert right here because we're going on a Chinese food tour all around Las Vegas. All right, what are we doing today, Phil? All right, we're gonna hit up uh, Hong Kong food first. Then we're gonna go to uh, one of the best all around Chinese spots. And then we're gonna get some really spicy Sichuan Chinese food at the end. Awesome, stay tuned. Uh, I'm getting hungry. I know you are too. For sure. Let's go. All right. Alright guys, we're at our first spot on this Chinese food tour at Wing Key Barbecue and Noodle for some Hong Kong Kongese food. So what can we expect here, Phil? Super excited to be here. Uh, all the barbecue meats, we're getting some noodle soups, fried rice, all the good stuff. I can't wait for you to try it out. Awesome, let's do it. at the kitchen. All right, we're in Wind Key Kitchen right now. It's getting hot here. If you guys can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. But we can, so it's about to get spicy. All right, guys, so we got the roasted duck here, as you guys can see. Oh, man, you can see the Perfect. whole face. Look at the skin. Yeah, skin looks really crispy. Perfect. But yeah, Hong Kong roasted duck right here. All right, guys, this is our food spread here at Winky. First meal right here, starting off strong Taiwanese food. So what I recognize is the Hainan chicken right here, the roasted duck that looked really crazy in there, and then the smoked barbecue pork right here. What else do we have? Also, they made laksa for us, uh, special. That's gonna be on the menu in a couple weeks. Uh, uber comforting dish, that's gonna be great for fall and winter. Uh, over here, we got the Winky barbecue fried rice. So you got all the meats all into one here. And of course, the roast duck bao sliders. It's always a Chinese food feast whenever I'm with Phil, but yeah, let's, I don't even know where to start. Oh, I think we should man. start with the sliders. Sliders, let's do yeah. it. So you got fried, your choice of fried or steamed. Um, I'll go with uh, the host. I'll do the, I'll do the white. Okay. Let's go. The healthy fit guy takes right. the steamed one. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Oh, the hoisin sauce, the roasted fatty meat, so good. Oh yeah, that bun's so soft like a pillow. Mm. I give those 9 out of 10 DVW score. That was really good. It's the roasted pork, right? Yeah, so the keys to roasted pork are the, the fatty gelatinous part, the juicy meat, and of course that crispy skin exterior and you just want to get all of that good stuff all in one bite for sure awesome and we got a bunch of sauces for us to try with too but i always like to try without any sauce exactly straight up is yeah. my jam i don't really need the sauces at the meat side try this out cheers nice little crunch mm. Mm. man mm -hmm. gotta get another one right away because it's so good oh the saltiness mm. of that crust mm. yeah. i get a pound or half pound of this with rice at home i mean no. i was just gonna say that i would say this would taste really good with rice because it has great flavor like phil said a little bit salty nice little crisp on the outside and it's a uh, with gelatiny and um soft oh, in the inside so good salud oh man look at that all right let's try it with the sauce 
Mm. Wow. What is that, hoisin sauce? It's like a hoisin sauce, okay. yeah, but I think they add something in it because it's not sweet. So it has oh, like yeah. a robust flavor. Nice. Well, that's good. Where should we go next, Bill? Oh, man. I've been eyeing this one. Oh, oh man. Look at that. Ever since they chopped that up and poured yeah. the juice on top. Yeah, you can see um, them cooking, roasting all the meat in the back through the window right there. So Yeah, and this is breakfast, lunch, or dinner, to be Ooh. honest. You got the two eggs, you got the honey roasted pork, and uh, veggies on rice. I mean, that's just heaven. Let's see how this so is. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a hit. That's why I like the rice because the barbecue pork and the roasted pork has so much flavor and the rice, steamed rice just soaks up all the flavor. Just adds a nice touch to the meat. I love the distinct kind of smokiness to this one. Yeah. Um, really good. Yeah, this whole bowl is loaded. How much is this right here? Yeah, so with the roast pork, the two eggs, the veggies on rice, only $14.95. I mean, the whole meal all in one is so yeah. good. I love these type of dishes. Has everything, has your carbs, the rice, the veggies, and the protein. Guys, I've been waiting for this since the moment I saw it hanging through the window. <laughs> the roasted duck, look at this. It's glistening in the fats and oils. It looks amazing. Let's just grab a piece each. Yeah, the way he was chopping it up, you could just see all the juice kind of just sopping out of the whole carcass yeah. as he was chopping it up and your oh, mouth man. was just watering the yes. entire time. Super juicy look. Look at this layer of fat right here. It's the whole duck, so each piece is gonna taste a little bit different. But uh, yeah, I got this little fatty piece right here. Yeah. Let's try it out. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Mm. That just popped in my mouth. My mouth just filled up with oils <laughs> in a good way. Like that duck fat, oh, so delicious. It's mm. crazy. They didn't add anything to this either. Yeah, look at this. Mm. Oh, that was great. What sauce do you usually like to do a roasted duck in? So, um, I usually like a little bit of uh, hot mustard sometimes just oh, to yeah. change it up, but I really love it in the wonton soup. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, true. So, all the wonton soups, you can get a roasted meat on top, and um, I might just take that leg and start swirling it. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, that's what you should do. Go ahead. I'm so honored. Oh, Jeez. look at that. Flavor. Look at that. Oops. Oh, get it all in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. So good. Mm. Oh, God. Phil's loving that. I heard that slurp. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> Slurping it up. Yeah. Look at all that juice. Juice right here. That is a moist duck. All right. Let's try the soup. I'm um, going to try the wonton soup right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the broth is really comforting. Mm. How about that wonton, right? Yeah. A wonton's a star, handmade. Yeah, handmade in house pork and shrimp mix. Yeah. And it's the best one in, yeah, I think it's the best one in town. Look at the size of it. Come yeah, it's very meaty. It just has like a thin, yeah, you know, wonton show around it, but not a place. Are, not a lot of places are doing it handmade. Uh, they buy them frozen and they just boil them. Uh, but this is so legit. Yeah, that's really good wonton. Yeah, you could taste the freshness. Um, I like the flavor too. It's a little bit salty, and e even the broth it has flavor. It's not too light. I actually think the broth is perfect. One of my favorite like hangover cures in Vegas, like a wonton soup. Hundred percent. Carbs, veggies. Yeah. This food is delicious, and I would say pretty healthy. Mm. I definitely give this wonton soup like 9.5 out of 10. These wontons are the business. Mm. One of the newest dishes they're actually gonna come out with that we got a, we got a really nice preview of is the laksa, which is total like a Singaporean, Malaysian style comfort food, uh, kind of like in a curry broth with seafood and noodles. We're lucky to be one of the first to, to try them out. Wow. I can smell the curry coming out of the noodles. Oh my God. A little uh, fish cake action, some shrimp. Mm. Fire? Fire. Yeah. So good. I'll definitely come back for that when that's on the menu. Oh, let's try this uh, chow fun right here. Beef chow fun. And then they suggested 
or our homemade chili sauce. Oh, with the that looks chow fun. All right, I'm gonna dip spicy. the meat in there. Oh, this looks dangerous. <laughs> right. Oh, this is nothing compared to later. Yeah, this is the <laughs> chili over here. Let's try this out. Oh, adds a whole new kind of dimension to to the chow fun. Oh yeah. Mmm. I love this with everything, to be honest. Yeah. The ones on soup and chicken, bring it on. Yeah. Really good. Oh, let's try this uh, Winky fried rice right here. So it looks like there's some barbecue pork. And I think it's all the roasted meat. So oh, you got duck, wow. chicken, and pork. Everything we ate in a fried rice format. Let's try the fried rice. Mmm. Oh, all that barbecue flavor. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a meat lover's fried rice right here. Heck yeah. Yeah, all that protein, all that meat. Because all the meat's so juicy and fatty, like adds like that extra layer of juiciness and oiliness to the fried rice. It's pretty good. Mm. That's awesome. That might be the sweet sauce so much. All right, gonna try the Hainan chicken right here. What do you think? It's tough to find good Hainan chicken in Vegas these days. Yeah. Um, so I'm super stoked uh, they're offering it now. Love Hainan chicken. Also, it's a very healthy dish. Super juicy is how Hainan chicken should be. But uh, it's also all about that sauce. It's a good, uh, that's a ginger scallion. That's, uh, it's like a sweet and sour sauce okay. with ginger in it. That's why we're on this, you know, Chinese food tour in Las Vegas. I find that Las Vegas does Chinese food very well. I always love getting, you know, basic Chinese food here. In this case, Hong Kong these food, but like something just like that barbecue rice, just so simple and efficient. But yeah, how would you rank all these dishes? I'm going to. Oh man, the toughest question. What say is your favorite dish? Okay, it changes all the time because whoever's roasting the meat, all that stuff. But I'm gonna go with the honey roasted pork on rice. To me, that is just my jam today. We saw them pull out all that smoked pork out of the out of the smoker, and it was just incredible. Number two would be the duck. Mm -hmm. And then, wow, number three, I'm gonna go with the cr crispy pork belly because I'm a pork belly kind of dude. We have pretty similar ratings. Yeah, everything is pretty good here. Great value, bang for your buck. Solid 9.5 out of 10 DVW score for Wing Key. Great value, great food, quick and efficient. Let's get more Chinese food. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, so oh, we're in Shanghai Plaza right now. There's a bunch of Asian food here, all, all types of food, but mostly Asian food, desserts, boba. But it's also one of the worst parking lots in Las Vegas, as you guys can see. <laughs> yeah, it gets really crowded in here. So um, yeah, just be patient when you're here. But yeah, next spot is China Mama right there. Let's go. Chinese place is customary to get some hot tea and uh, in Asian Chinese culture, the younger person has to pour, right? Right, we don't even need to ask. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> right here, out of respect for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So nice to the senior. Yeah, yeah. the feng shui right here. Jesus. Salud. <laughs> right. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, a little jasmine -y. Yeah, Jasmine. Yeah. Love Jasmine. Uh, you gotta cool this up a little bit, put in some boba. It would be a great uh, <laughs> boba tea drink. This is legit. This tastes actually like you spent some money on this. Yeah. Unlike most Chinese spots. All right, DVW fam. So we're at our next place, China Mama. You guys see the vibes. Look at this. This is crazy. Another stop on our Chinese food tour. And I'm very excited. I eat a lot of Asian food and a lot of these dishes look pretty foreign to me, but this place is very popular. Uh, I saw this on Phil's channel and I've been wanting to go since, so can you please let us know about China Mama? So many things to love about China Mama, but most of all, it's really the best all around Chinese restaurant in Vegas. No matter what your background or what kind of food that you consider Chinese food, you can get any of that here from the authentic stuff to the uh, more American Chinese stuff. So if you're ever in a jam, ever in a pinch, or need to go anywhere for Chinese, this is the place to go. Yeah, we'll go through these dishes one by one, but look at this monstrosity right here. I want to start off with this. What is that? So this is the pork joint stewed with rock sugar. So you got a little oh sweetness and gosh. savory. And I love that they gave you a little extra sauce with that. 
I don't even know if we're gonna need the knife. I think you can just fork into that baby right oh, yeah. there. Oh, it's oh, very look jiggly. Look at the jiggle. Oh, so fatty, delicious. Oh, my God. Look at that. Whoosh. Oh, this thing is just falling off the bone right here. Phil said it all. He uh, did the honors for us. It just melted off the bone when he poked and prodded at it. But yeah, look how tender it is. Let's uh, just grab a little piece right here. Yep. Get a little bit of the fat. Um, yeah, extremely tender. Oh, I'm gonna get a lean piece. Yeah, it's pretty lean. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of this. I'm gonna Ooh. get a little sauce yeah, action. Saucy. So there rock, sugar, pork shank. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Mm. Whoa. That flavor. Excellent. Oh, man. Excellent. Wow, very tender. I got very lean part and it was still tender. Yeah, texture's great. Um, yeah, you kind of got like three pieces of pork in here because you got this, the center, which is tender, the fatty edges and all the saucy parts. Mm. Really good. Let me get a little fat part here. See this? Oh, One piece of the skin. Let's see. I'm gonna do do it like Phil and dip it in the sauce. That might be awesome with some rice. Oh yeah, I love eating steamed rice with uh, saucy items like this. It always just soaks up the flavor so well. I'm I'm oh, sitting yeah. right next to him. I'm jealous. Yeah, that skin, <laughs> really gelatiny. Oh, it's all about the flavor though. The rock sugar sauce is like, when you said rock sugar, I, I thought it would be really sweet, but it's just nice and caramelized, really juicy from the pork. Very interesting dish. Yeah, totally elevated with the sugar. Mm -hmm. um, and the pork was amazing by itself anyway, but yeah. all around just a great dish. So we got here is the big mouth big roll. Mouth. So you got uh, minced pork with some cilantro, uh, homemade kind of Chinese pancake with the sesame. That should be a really good bite. Looks crazy. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Mm. Mm. Normally a street food dish, but it goes perfect in a restaurant like this. Yeah, I love the um, oh. little pan-fried pancake. Mm -hmm. And the sesame seeds adds an extra touch to it because it makes it a little bit crispier, crunchy. It's similar to like a beef roll mm -hmm. pancake, but mm -hmm. this one's with minced pork. So whole different fl flavor profile. And there's some uh, veggies in here with the cilantro. Yes, juicier, the crispy corn is so good. Yeah, I would oh. say it's um, less overwhelming than a beef roll. Kind of has like a lighter taste. Yeah. Like I could eat multiple of these. Weirdly it tastes healthy, but uh, yeah, it's like a savory <laughs> pancake. Yeah, great. another great appetizer here. Really crunchy, it's all, it's all about the textures. Yeah. Mm. That looks crazy, what is that, Phil? Yeah, so these are China Mama's famous pan-fried buns. So basically they take, take a steamed pork bao and then kind of put like a little crispy uh, outer thing on it, outer shell on it, very similar to like a pot sticker. Let's do a, a hardness test, look at this. <laughs> All right, some ASMR for you folks. Oh, oh so Phil Ooh. wasn't lying. It kind of looks like a bao and a shalong bao yeah. and a pan fried dumpling in one. Yeah, pretty much. That's Cheers. what this is. Cheers. Oh. Mm. <laughs> a bunch wow. of that soup juices just squirted out when I took that first bite. Yeah. But it's literally just how I described it. Yeah, the spawn of a wild three-way with pot stickers, bow, and mm. XLB. That's a but great description. Tastes very fresh, so very juicy. soft, brisk, tender, juicy, spongy. Uh. A must-have. Absolutely. Look at Phil's fingers, guys. It's dripping from the juices from that bow. Wow. Nice. So this is the crispy beef, right? Yep. Wow, I'll take a piece of this. So if you love Americanized type stuff, obviously this is the most famous, like you mentioned before, at P.F. Chang's. Mm -hmm. But they do a really great version, and it just really stresses the all-roundness of how good China Mama is. Yeah, I think the only other time I've had this was a while ago at P.F. Chang's, so let's try here. Mm, yeah. Great texture, good quality beef. The flavor hits you in the mouth right away. It's tangy. It's kind of like um. Thin beef orange chicken, really crispy. All about the breading, like the breading is really crisp throughout. Nice strips of beef on there, very good. Yeah, totally not my jam normally, but when my friends from out of town want to come have Chinese food, 
um, they love this dish. I know this one, this is mapu tofu. I love mapu tofu. You always gotta eat with rice. And I think, honestly, China Mama's version is the best version of Vegas. And then what do we have here? So this is a nearly vegetarian dish. It's eggplant with a spicy garlic sauce and minced pork. Uh, it's just another one of my favorite dishes. Totally kind of comfort foody and yet kind of a little bit healthy. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, the flavor wasn't what I expected. It's kind of sweet. Mmm. These little pieces of minced pork in here gives it a little pop and kick. But the eggplant is extremely tender. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy tender. The thing about all these dishes I've been having is just textures. The textures in all of them is insane. I mean, Chinese are big on that, right? Just yeah. something that's pleasing to the mouth. The palate, oh, yeah. It's so slippery, like it's breaking apart. Just, you know, using my tongue. I'm not even biting it. Mm. Hit, hit a lot of garlic right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. I'm not a big sure. veggie guy, but I like that eggplant. <laughs> Let's move on to the mapu tofu. Cheers. Oh, man. Right? This is unique. We save this for last. Wow. This is good, actually, because the mala, the little numbing spice, right, that's kind of hitting you. The sauce is really chunky. I like that. Yeah. The reason why you need to eat it with white rice is so much sauce. The sauce is half of the dish. So delicious with the white rice. Soaks up all the flavor. Totally. Fuego. And props to China Mom for adding the kale underneath. Oh, so this yeah. This is warm from beginning to end. It's not that hits you in the face spice. It's like, it's like that uh, kissing your... Um, Cheek spice. <laughs> oh man. Great description. We tried a little bit of everything. I'm gonna give you guys a DVW score. I would say 9.1 out of 10 DVW score. It was great. My favorite dish has to be the mapu tofu. What do you think? What's your uh, top man, dishes? This is tough. I'm going to, today I'm going with the shank, but everything was stellar. I don't feel too heavy after eating all this because sometimes uh, Chinese food could be, <clears throat> oh, that spice come back. Yeah, I can eat every single one of these dishes nonstop. Salud. So we're gonna finish off the rest of these dishes and uh, have some more Chinese food. Let's Ready? go. Let's go. What's up, DVW fam? We're our third and final spot on this Chinese food tour at Chengdu Taste. They specialize in Sichuan Chinese food. If you guys haven't had Sichuan food, to me, it's known for the spices. And when they brought these dishes down, you could smell the heat and the spices coming out of it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit intimidated. I'm gonna try for you guys. Phil's gonna tell you guys more about you know what we have in Sichuan food. The fact that you're nervous makes me more excited about this. To be oh, honest. Right. Okay. So first is uh, arguably their most famous dish. It's the toothpick lamb. It's basically uh, cumin lamb with some spice and cilantro. It's a really great shared dish. Oh, and it's awesome with rice. Next is the dry pot chicken. They kind of just fry up some little chicken bits here uh, with some uh, peppercorn and some other spices. And then finally, this one right here. The sliced fish and boiling hot sauce. And it's filled with bean sprouts. And just, I mean, when you were kind of ladling it, you, know, you could feel it yeah. in your nose. And uh, we're going to save that one for last because I just want to see your expression. I don't think it'll be that bad. The name scares me. The boiling hot fish, is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Sliced fish and boiling hot sauce. Yeah, wow. I think that's what they call it. All right. Yep. So um, without further ado, let's try some of the toothpick lamb. So Is that fat on there? Yeah. Look, I got the piece of the big glob of fat. <laughs> so let's okay. try this out. Oh man. I'm not a cilantro guy, it tastes yeah. like soap to me, but I'm done with this. That cilantro is definitely needed. The flavors are crazy. The lamb, very mm. tender. Mm. When you bite it, the, the spice comes out and then you bite into the cilantro. And it's kind of like a, a good palate cleanser at the same time. Nice little change up to what we've been eating all day. Mmm, that's good. And it's good, uh, good for the palate. I'm gonna take a fatty one. Wow. There's a lot of spices in there. There's some sweetness, mm. spiciness. Oh, yeah. It's like a lollipops of lamb. Mm -hmm. Great dish here. Mm. Not gamey at all. Yeah, yeah not gamey at really all. Good. And I like the, the my favorite parts are the globs of fat and the cilantro. Like Phil said, I'm not a cilantro fan, but for some reason this cilantro really goes well with um, the lamb. Like you have to eat it together. It does, mm. it does. Everything together, all the flavors put together very well. Like little lamb lollipops. Ah. Mm. Deep fried chicken cubes and dry pot seasoning. Let's try it out. 
Right. Kind of looks like mini little popcorn chicken or like chicken gizzards or... Totally. It's really the calamari. ends of the chicken and they just kind of deep fry them up here. Nice. For a nice little dish. Try it out. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Right. I got a little bit of heat. That breading is really good. Light, airy. Some, some rice. Oh, there's some spice to there. Yeah. But I think the main star of this is like the breading and like the spice. Yeah. Creeps up. Yeah. It's like every piece has like a little different tang or oh, yeah. little piece of flavor to it. I got a piece that was like kind of sweet. One that was like more salty, one more spicy. Yeah. What is the thing about Szechuan food? Even though it's spicy, you want to keep picking at it like these lamb cubes. Yep. I keep reaching over <laughs> and grabbing another one because they're so addicting. Mm. Are you sweating yet? My sweat beads are holding out for this, this too, I think. Mm. So fun fact, Kung Pao chicken is a Szechuan dish. And usually they'll have like peppers like this. Oh! <coughs> creeping up my voice is cracking <laughs> going down the throat it opens up Fuck. the nasal this stuff is medicine it's a decongestant mm. i can see why phil got us some white rice because at the previous place like it was very saucy so the rice soaks up the sauce but you want some white rice to kind of like settle down the tongue when you're eating all the spice yeah the burn just keeps on sinking in mm -hmm. for tender slices all right i'm just gonna go for this one just staring you right in the face Oh, look at getting all the peppers. All right. The finale. Ooh. It's been a day, man. Last dish. Let's make it the best. It looks really spicy, so let's, let's try it out. Fish. Oh, you can tell Salud. This, tell this filet is super tender. Oh, yeah. Oh, the fish is amazing. Not so bad so far. That's kind of like tricked my taste buds because it looks so red and peppery, but it's not too spicy. I think the popcorn or I think the chicken might have been a little bit spicier. This fish is really tender. Very flaky, tender piece of fish fillet right here. And uh, it's a great spicy sauce to pair with this rice. So it goes very good with rice. I almost didn't want to get a rice, but all these dishes definitely got to go with the rice. Kind of like the um, mapu tofu that we had earlier. Spice is coming. It's coming. A little bit. It's creeping. Creeping. I'm gonna be honest, I, I did better than I thought. I was yeah, kinda I think you did too. Proud of you, man. Kinda got scared coming yeah. in here with all the Szechuan spices, but I think that was the least spicy. I'll give this like a six out of ten. This one, surprisingly, I thought this one wasn't gonna be too spicy because it looks like a lot of breading, but this one's like a 7.7 7 out of 10 spice for me. This one is still creeping, but it's a this one at, at least is gradual, seven out of 10. Feels like it's coming. Yeah. You know, uh, our good friend Rain is crazy, would take fried chicken and dip it into this. Oh yeah? Yeah, Let's try it out. that's what she would do. Mm. Lose that extra spice. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Survive the Szechuan spice with Las Vegas still here. This has been a great day. Let's finish off the rest of uh, the spice and uh, head out. All right, guys, we're stuffed. It was a fun-filled day of eating Chinese food all around Las Vegas with Las Vegas Phil. Thanks for coming on the channel as always and enjoying great food with the DVW fam. What'd you think of all the food? Like, what was your favorite or? This was I mean, just an awesome trek because yeah. I loved all the variety of stuff that we ate. Um, it was really just the perfect day to see some of the best Chinese food in Vegas. Yeah, I liked how we got to try a little bit of everything, you know, it was great. I know you guys love Chinese food in Vegas. And yeah, these are some of the top places. Love the DVW fan. And then also love being on your channel. If you guys haven't heard of Las Vegas Phil, he does a lot of great content all around Vegas, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and I'm gonna be on his podcast tomorrow. So yeah, make sure to check out his channel, the Las Vegas Phil podcast and Las Vegas Phil. If you guys like this video, please like it. Comment down below if you have any suggestions or tips for us and subscribe for more Las Vegas Phil and DVW food and travel vlogs. See ya. Boom. <laughs>